So for this video, we'll be discussing how to divide fractions. So we start off with a formula. So the formula in dividing fractions is given by a over v divided by c over d. This one is equal to a over b times d over c, which is equal to ad over bc. So what we did here is that we convert this division symbol into multiplication. And other than that, we also converted c over d into d over c or its reciprocal. So basically, when we divide a fraction, we multiply it to its reciprocal. So please take note of this formula. So with that out of the way, let's have some examples. If we have 2 over 3 divided by 1 over 5, this would give us 2 over 3 times 5 over 1. Multiplying this would give us 10 over 3 or 1 Oh, it's not 1. It should be 3 and 1 thirds. So this is the answer. Let's try another example. If we have 6 over 15 divided by 3 over 10, this would give us 6 over 15 times 10 over 3. Now from here, we can go on and multiply the numerator and the denominator. But we could also cancel some common factors that we have here to simplify our expression. So we have... 6 is actually 2 times 3, 15 is 5 times 3, times 10 is 5 times 2, all over 3. From here, we can cancel 3 and 5, leaving us with 2 times 2 is 4 over 3. Or 1 and 1. And this one is our final answer. Let's try this one. If we have 7 over 18, all over 21 over 24. How do we solve this one? Now note that even though we represented this operation fraction in a different way, this is simply equal to 7 over 18 divided by 21 over 24. Now this time, we know that this is equal to 7 over 18 times 24 over 21. Through cancellation of common factors, we first have 7 over 18 is equal to 6 times 3 times 24 is equal to 6 times 4 and 21 is equal to 7 times 3. So we can cancel out 6 out here and 7 out here giving us 4 over 3 times 3 or 9. And this one is our final answer.
Now what if we have this? 5 over 7 divided by 15. If we are given a whole number, we know that 15 can be written as 15 over 1. So this one is equal to 5 over 7 times 15, oops, divided, divided by 15 over 1. So this one is equal to 5 over 7 times 1 over 15. Through cancellation, we can observe that 5 over 7 times 1 over 15. 15 can be written as 5 times 3. So we can cancel out the 5 out here, leaving us with 1 over 21. And that is the answer. So take note here that when we see a whole number, we can immediately convert that to, a, to an improper fraction by simply putting 1 in its denominator. So let's try this one. If we have 10 all over 20 over 21 in a parenthesis, we have this one is equal to 10 divided by 20 over 21. So we treated 20 over 21 as well because it is in a, a parenthesis. So again, we can write 10 as 10 over 1. So this one is equal to 10 over 1 times 21 over 20. So this is equal to 10 over 1 times 21 over 20 is equal to 10 times 2. So we can cancel out the 10 out here, leaving us with 21 over 2, or 10 and 1 half. And this is our final answer. Now let's try some mixed numbers. If we have 5 over 1 half all over 2 and 1 fifth. The first thing that we can do here is to convert the numerator and the denominator into their improper fraction. So this one is equal to 11 over 2 all over 11 over 5. So we can apply our previous knowledge in here now. So we have 11 over 2 divided by 11 over 5 is equal to 11 over 2 times 5 over 11. Cancelling out like terms would give us 5 over 2 or 2 and 1 half. Now take note of this outcome since we will present another solution to this problem. Oops. Or let's just leave it out there. Let's put it out here. And let's box that so we would remember. So another way to solve this one is to use our knowledge in mixed numbers and addition of fraction. Recall that 5 and 1 half can be written as 5 plus 1 over 2. The same for the denominator. This can be written as 2 plus 1 over 5. What we can do here is we multiply 10 over 10 
the numerator and the denominator. The reason why we multiply 10 is because the multi I mean the least common multiple of 2 and 5 out here is 10. So we will multiply 10 to remove the unnecessary denominators present in this one and this one. So we have um, 50 plus 10 over 2 is 5 all over um, 20 plus 10 over 5 is 2. And this would give us 55 all over 22, which is 5 times 11 all over 2 times 11. Canceling out the like terms would give us with 5 over 2 or 2 and 1 half, which is similar to the outcome that we had a while. So either of the two methods would work. It depends on your preference. So again, for this video, we have tackled several examples on dividing fractions. And always remember this formula out here. The formula is that A over B divided by C over D would give us A over B times T over C or AD over BC. So don't, don't forget that formula. And so that is all for this video.